Well, just yesterday, President Trump said nobody knew health care could be so complicated. Some proposed versions of the GOP's replacement plan have been circulating, and if you receive your insurance through your employer, you could get text on that. And CBS 2's Serene Branson joins us now with more on the possible tax hike for many hard-working Americans. Serene. Well, Pat, Rick, at issue here is the long-standing tax exclusion for employer-sponsored health insurance. More than $250 billion that Americans who receive insurance from their jobs don't now pay in federal income tax every year. Though Republicans haven't come together on a single bill just yet, prominent proposals would put a cap on how much of an employee's plan can be tax-exempt. And the new plan will be a great plan for the patients, for the people. President Trump was a reality TV star. Now he's finally learning what the reality of policymaking is. Consumer watchdog Carmen Balder is closely watching what a new health care plan will look like under the Trump administration. As he did on the campaign trail, President Trump will likely talk about repealing and replacing the Affordable Care Act tonight. But details of a leaked GOP draft bill spearheaded by House Speaker Paul Ryan suggest some changes. They would keep coverage for those with pre-existing conditions and allow children to stay on a parent's policy until 26. But it would limit the expansion of Medicaid to low-income residents, repeal the individual mandate, and consider taxing employer-provided coverage. They're looking to uh, push consumers to have to pay out of pocket if they want high-quality benefits. Since that's how most Americans get insurance. I'm certain that there will be a huge revolt uh, if consumers are all of a sudden told uh, that their health plan that protects them when they get sick will be taxed unless they agree to cutting their benefits. Consumers we spoke with said they'd like to see specifics of an official plan and soon. Without a really solid policy and a clear strategy, it will be a disaster. The worry is that 20 million people are going to lose their health insurance over this. And regardless of if they replace it with something, even that may not be affordable. Balder says premiums and deductibles for the average Californian may not go up, but the value of benefits could go down. The new plan could drop mandated coverage for some medical conditions. Covered California said they're watching closely and, quote, we will inform our consumers if there are changes at the federal level that will impact their coverage. Now, if a plan moves through Congress, Balber says don't expect any immediate changes. In fact, she says don't anticipate any changes to take effect this year or next. Pat, back to you.